live improv watchers, our next improvisation is going to be inspired by Pamela from Gurney, Illinois, whose hobby is refinishing antique furniture. And with that, we take you to this very special episode of Antique Road Show. <laughs> What's going to happen is our other improvisers are going to grab some suggestions, and based off that suggestion, they're going to come in to the appraisal of this week's episode of Antiques Road Show, me, and they're going to discuss their antique, and we're going to see if we can find a value for it. Wonderful. Hey, Pamela. Hi, welcome to the Antique Show. Hi, my name's Christopher. I'm from Overland Park, Kansas. Uh, go Cougars. And um, what uh, antique would you like to share with us today? Uh, I've got, I, I'm really into geocaching. Ooh. Uh, so that means I go around and I find, I find stuff in unusual places and I take photos of it and record it. But oopsie, I broke the rules because you're supposed to leave. <laughs> you're supposed to leave the stuff there, but not, not Christopher. I does what I wants and I likes what I does. Well, <laughs> I stole these here seashells from the Overland Park uh, uh, aquarium. Well, I'll tell you this much, Christopher. Because it is illegal to take these from where they belong, they're highly valuable. Oh, well, I was yes. hoping I would hear that. Um, so this particular seashell, I think, uh, properly restored. Um, you're looking at, uh, oh, uh, I'd say seven, maybe eight dollars. Hot diggity! <laughs> I could buy a two meals from a, from a restaurant at that price. Well, thank you so much, and good luck to you. Thank you, Pamela. Appreciate oh, it. Oh, goodness gracious. Hey there, how's it going? Ah, very nice. I'm John from Lawrenceville, Georgia. Hey, John, what kind of antique would you like to share with us Well, today? I am so glad you asked, because I brought my antique Nintendo Wii. Ooh. <laughs> now, this being an antique. Yes. An antique Wii. Mm-hmm. Well, explain that to me, because I was under the impression the Wii is kind of new, so tell me what you got here. Now, that is correct, and I will not correct you on that, but I am telling you this. Sometimes your perspective can change the age of an object, and I happen to like antiquing, but I also happen to like Mario Kart. I understand, and you're right. The year a product came out mm -hmm. and its value are completely determined totally. by whatever you make up. Absolutely. So if this Nintendo Wii was a current Nintendo Wii that you would go to any department store yes. and buy, yes. it'd be worth basically retail. Right. But if we were to make up a year, perhaps in the 19th century, 19th century. then this Nintendo Wii, if it was perhaps mm -hmm. from, say, 1875, at auction, could possibly be worth up to $12,000. What? Yes. $12,000. All right, now get the heck out of the antique right, road show. Thank you. All right. Hello, sir. How are you? Or ma'am. I'll take ma'am. <laughs> I'm Curry. Level four, Victorville, California. <laughs> ah. Mm -hmm. And you know, coffee makes me think of absolute ecstasy. Okay? Mm -hmm. Not partial ecstasy, not a little bit of ecstasy. <laughs> Absolute ecstasy. Now, I understand you brought some of that ecstasy with you today. Uh, yes, I did. Um, and what makes it absolute as opposed to, you know, many times on the road show, we get people who bring in ecstasy, but not absolute ecstasy, partial ecstasy, <laughs> happiness, joy, but not the absolute ecstasy that you brought us today, which I have to say I'm really impressed to see. Thank you. My absolute ecstasy comes in the form of an old school Scrabble board. Ah. Mm -hmm. Cause I love playing Scrabble. Now I see here that you misspelled every word on the board. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, even the word absolutely. Mm -hmm. Cause it was absolute. And you say you're from Victorville, California. Mm -hmm. um, but Victorville is definitely spelled wrong. And there are a series of numbers and Chinese characters on the Scrabble board as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, wonderful. Now uh, tell me about the backstory of where you found this Scrabble board. Well, I found it uh, out in Victorville, California. Okay. Uh, at Edgar Allan Poe's uh, cottage house that he used to have out there. Old family, family friend of mine, but go on. <laughs> great, great. Um, and I just happened upon it with my husband um, while we were sneaking out of Seattle's best without paying for coffee. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, thanks for the backstory. It's not necessary, though, but continue. No, it's fine. I like to be absolutely open. Good call. And because you're absolutely open, this Scrabble board, which normally in any convenience store or something would be valued at, uh, oh, maybe $29.99, uh, will now, to the right buyer at the right auction house, yes. you're looking at about $39.99. Yes, ecstasy! There you go. <laughs>